Hello everybody, I'm Scout83, and this is my Plains Nations campaign. And at the moment, I've got to get this built, so that's going to take two turns. And then I've got to move down here, and I'm going to add... I had planned to try to take Mexico because it's rich territory, but I think it'll take me too long to take Mexico uh, from New Spain. So I think I'm going to go into the Pueblo Nations and then push my way out here. And the big reason is um, my objectives. I've got to capture all these territories in this one up here and everything. So I think it would be smarter for me to start pushing out west rather than try to push down in Mexico. Although I think this would come in handy, uh, a lot handy, because there's a lot of resources in here. Um, I think I'm going to push off towards the east. But, with that in mind, I really can't move these guys out of here because I've got to wait for that to build. And I'm debating whether or not, because it'll take me like three turns to get down here. It'll take me three turns to build this and then recruit some garrisons to hold the place. Um, keep them from rebelling. So I think it would be more economical for me to just wait until this is ready. Because if I'm not mistaken, yeah, it's about three turns. So, on that note, I'm going to have to end the turn and see what happens. All right, well, that's the end of that one. And, um, tobacco plantation, basic roads. That's good, that's what I wanted to see. Still can't recruit anything. Suppose I could try to send my army on without recruiting anything and then have them follow. I could tr probably do that. I don't know if I'm going to need the whole army anyway. The question is, who should I leave if I leave them? Because really, this, this is a very basic army that I really need the whole thing. So I think I'll hold off for this and hold on a second. I'll be right back. There it goes. Okay, hello, I'm back. And, um, okay, I was over here and I was finishing off that, and I'm wondering... Now, see, I was debating doing that and everything. What is my fine current, not my, not, I want to look at my finances right now. I've got a fairly good amount of finances coming in at the moment. I'm thinking that I should go ahead and just recruit some more something anyway. So I can get some artillery, but I don't think that'll go along with what I'm trying to do at the moment. Get some tribal mounted gunners. How much are those? To, those are 200 to maintain. 160, 150. 200. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and get... Well, no, 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 wait. Those aren't them. Yeah, they are. Okay, let me go ahead and recruit two of those guys. And uh, let me return... Let me end the turn here. So... All right, so... Hunting grounds finished. Excellent. Using that, I'm going to... I believe I just proved that those... What is the difference? Cost upkeep. Oh, they got chevrons. That must be the difference. Okay, well I'm gonna recruit... Oh no, no, no. I'm looking at the completely wrong screen. That was why I was confused. Okay. Recruit one, two of those. Then I'll be able to move my army out. And, um... War declared. Gathering of warriors. Okay, so they got some more warriors in the Black Hills. Austria and France are now at war. Once again. 
Okay, I'm going to take these guys, because I don't need them up here. But I'm going to start moving them down. And they're going to be doing... I'm going to use them as more of a raiding force against my enemies once they get down here. And um, I'm going to take my main army and keep on advancing. And um, I don't even know if I should waste the money on that. Well, I guess I will. I've got enough money here. I actually got quite a bit of money. I'm surprised. I'm doing way better financially than I thought I was going to be. See, now that brought it down to 80, 863, so I'm going to want to be more careful. And that force that I'm bringing down is not just going to be raiding, it's also going to be facilitating my main force once it gets in there. Um, yeah, if I pull out now without even some garrison there, I'm going to have a problem. So i got to wait one more turn. And, um, yeah. Um, yeah, this is going to be a hard campaign. But that's okay. That's, why, that's what I like. Um, I know I pick odd campaigns, as um, one of, one of uh, my viewers was saying, but I like hard. It's more, it's more fun for me to, you know, think, oh, I might not be able to win, I may not be able to win this. So, all right, I'm going to end this turn, and uh, yeah, let's see what happens. All right. Well, that should be a recruitment report. Yes, got one there. Let me see if I can pull out everybody else now. Well, actually, this. And then you must be the new guy. Pull them out. They're a little upset, but they should be okay. And their religious unrest is fading, so I think I should be okay to mo begin moving on the Pueblo Nations. It's my main goal. That's right, forward! Bring these guys down. Some more. And uh, end another turn. Alright, building constructed. Obviously there. 3,000 to upgrade to the one I'm debating whether it's even worth upgrading. Because in order to get to a building that really means anything financially, I have to get here. Because that'll give me um, eight, eight, 800 um, plus. Um, money, gold, whatever, funds. I'll tell. That's what the word I'm going to use. Funds. Eight hundred funds, which would be useful, but I don't know that it's really worth upgrading this one anymore. So I'm going to leave it as is, because it's got some um, recruiting capabilities. It's actually got a decent recruiting capability anyway, and it's just not going to benefit me at all honestly. So, that in mind, let me get rid of this this thing here. I keep pushing on the Peblo, pub, I almost called them uh, the pub nation. The pub, pub, okay. The nation, this nation here. Because apparently I can't say what I normally can say, but I can't right now because I'm apparently incapable. All right. It's the end of that turn. I'm going to end the turn. New Spain. Peace treaty. Their demand. They want single payment of 4,800. Um, no, I don't really think so. I mean, at this point, peace with Spain, with New Spain, would be useful. Since I just figured out that my whole t attack on New Spain was probably a bad idea anyway, but do counter all for, F or, uh, get rid of that. 
I'll make a payment, just not that much. Let's just say one thousand. No, not demand. I mean offer. Yeah, offer one thousand. See if they they're willing to do that. Reject your offer, blah, 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 blah. That's nice. Don't really care. I don't think there's really much they can do to me at the moment. The place I took was too far remote. All right, back into another one. Now, let me go ahead and get these guys closer so I don't forget about them. And then now there comes the invasion. Declare war. They have no enemies, no allies. Well, that's not true. They have Cherokee nations and pirates. Ooh, they have a sizable force. Well, I think I'm going to be maintaining the siege for right now. Also, in the next turn, I'm going to try to reinforce them with this two units here. Because they do have quite the formidable force. Although some of them are just um, armed tribesmen. These are all just garrison troops, basically. But still, they're very capable. they got a capable force right now. Alright, so let's maintain this siege. And there's not really much I can do at the moment. But maintain the siege. And then they've got to last... Oh, they only have to last two turns, so I could probably take them by siege if they don't choose to come after me. That is the question. Will they come after me or not? And New Spain is looking to cause trouble. And they're coming out after me. So, I'm going to be holding my position. And they are actually got some pretty... Because they've got melee bonuses. These units, these Native American warriors, are better than mine. Their archers should be equal. They look like it. I've got some cavalry, which is equal to their cavalry, but they only got one cavalry unit. I've got two, plus I've got a tribal bodyguard. They've got one of those too. Got some musketeers. They've got some musketeers. So that really, I'm kind of I'm. It says it's even. Looks kind of like I'm outclassed actually, but all I have to do is hold my ground. So on that note, I will see you on the battlefield. All right, welcome to the battlefield, and um, I've kind of got my men spread out. That's deliberate. Deliberate. In a lot of battles, this would be a problem, but I'm trying to basically occupy occupy more space than my enemy in this in particular battle. Um, I've got a really a holding force here. I'm expecting them to go there. I'm going to try to basically ambush them from the front and hopefully get these forces off to the sides and be able to hit them from other positions as well. That is the hope. That may not happen. Hopefully it will. And hopefully that'll give me a bit of an advantage. And um, here, let me set up some checkpoints here since I'm having to watch so much. And these guys are now here, but I want to go ahead and move them off and then face them back over this way. So... Now oh, these... This cavalry is hiding. Now there should be... What they're doing is they're coming towards my general, which I have way back here. And, um... Uh-oh. I think they've spotted these guys. They have. Which is very, very bad. Okay, so they sp spotted those guys. 
as of right now, and they only have spotted these guys. Okay, so this is not going the way I hoped. I got my enemy, I got my uh, men too close. And I gave them the high ground here. That was a mistake. Blatant mistake here. Come on guys, get into position. As fast as possible, please. Try to get my general over there. Oh! Well, that's bad. Where's my archers? There's my bowmen. Pull the bowmen back. Yeah! There are really too many of them. I should have had my archers. Um, where are they still? There they are. Should have had them in skirmish mode anyway. Wow. This bodyguard unit is slow. Ah, our Native American warriors are tearing my men up. Okay, everybody. Run for the hills. border. Go guys. Actually, I can probably, I might be able to get them out that way. Come on guys, get out of there. Can't these tribal lancers outrun a bunch of Native Americans? I understand why they wouldn't be able to run out run them. But okay, there we go. They're already. I've already got them in retreating, and these guys are coming back into the fight. Go, 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 go! Come on. Fine, just run. All right, now I'm just trying to save people. This one didn't go so well. Maybe I should have tried to pull back farther. They're close enough, I'm gonna tell them to run. Now they're completely running. Got them withdrawing, and... All right, well the reason why I was um, kind of doing this manually, oh gosh, they've come back. And that's actually one of the reasons why I was doing it manually was because um, when you hit, just hit the route button, the withdrawal button, button, sometimes they'll end up running through hordes of enemy. So I was trying to do this semi-manually in order to re try to reduce um, losses. It didn't really work out very well. And what in the world is going on here? Is this Chief's bodyguard? Why are you running into back into the battlefield? They don't want to listen to me. Come on, you're almost off. And that should be it. There we go. Close defeat. Wouldn't call that close, but whatever. Okay, so I lost... No, that's not me. That's them. They lost 727. I lost 1,142. Um, very, very bad. Very, very bad. 
My bowmen got cut down all the way down to three. Native American lancers down to ten. So yeah. The earth cries for our loss. Yes, the earth does cry for your loss. This is unacceptable. Okay. Path blocked. I don't know by what. Okay, since I can't actually do what I was hoping to do, I'm still going to use these units for what I plan to do. And I'm going to break them up and start raiding this territory. And unfortunately, because they're so weak, I've got to pull these men back and replenish them, actually. Yes, and... Let me think. Medicine are more. Medicine men are expensive. They're good in the melee, though. Native tribesmen. Native tribes warriors clearly better. Just got that proved. Really, it's only a minimum increase in price too, as far as maintenance. Oops. So I think I'll recruit two of those, and then I'll merge them with the army. As it comes back, which unfortunately it has to do. Not you. Oh, you. Well, they're almost there. And I'll I'll have to um. Repair them. And uh, yeah, so my first real fight against another Native American showed that. Well, for one thing, I was outgunned. Didn't expect them to have this large of a force in there. Um, but they did. Kind of maybe makes sense. I kind of figured that it was early enough in the game where they wouldn't have a large army here. But I was wrong. So now I paid the price for that. And now I'm going to have to run, run my force back, repair, rearm my army, make sure I'm ready for this this next time, and then go in. In the meantime, I'm going to start raiding and everything. But anyway, that's the plan from this point on. Wasn't able to maintain the siege. Their troops were just too good. As, as I said, um, let's see, 11 attack, 9 bones for charge, 4 for defense. Yes, yeah, see, 16 melee attack, 10 charge, 9 defense, 7 to morale. I think there's a 6 morale. Yeah, they're just all around a better unit. And these. See this, I should probably get some medicine man, men in there too. So I'll do that. And that'll take me a few turns to rebuild my army. And hopefully I won't have to do this again. But I'm going to send them back in because I am on a short campaign. So um, this is going to be a really big challenge. But I wanted to do it in a short campaign because I didn't figure doing a long campaign on this one would be good. But this makes it really challenging. So anyway, that's where I'm going to stop this video. Um, as always, feel free to comment and all of that. And what is... Oh, that's that. And traits gained. Ooh. Relin battle increased. Fully mocked. Forward negative. <laughs> so um, he got one morale bonus and lost a morale bonus. So basically he's where he was before. Congratulations, chief. Chief, um, Ketsup. Not to be confused with Chief Ketchup. Um, command when fighting an American. Uh, Alright, so anyway, as I was saying, uh, feel fairly free to comment. And, um, thank you for watching.